Rahim, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa jma'in. Mr. Chairman, distinguished members of Institute of Objective Studies, Your Excellencies, uh, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And good evening. It's a great pleasure to be a guest of honor on behalf of the International Islamic Charitable Organization in this remarkable <coughs> conference. Let me start with, say, with, with stating my appreciation to the Institute of Objective Studies as well as to its founder, Dr. Muhammad Mandur Al. This institute managed to approach many challenging challenges facing Muslims in India and around the world in such an academic method that makes it unique Islamic project. The institute works towards clear objectives through creative programs and by great values that lead to great accomplishments. It offers 32 years of impressive success stories, mashallah. Dear brothers and sisters, my visit to India means a lot to me. I consider myself tracking a path that was taken by my father for more than 40 years. A Sayyid Yusuf Arifai, who is my father, is a scholar and spiritual leader like many of you here. He has visited this beautiful country and interacted with its cultural and intellectual developments in the realm of Muslim activism. He engaged with leaders and impactful figures who each of them has led a brick in various foundations serving humanity. I'm truly pleased to be in a country that embraces diversity encourages hard work and lives in such vibrancy. As for the International Islamic Charitable Organization, IICO, that I'm representing today, and which uh, Dr. Mohammed Mandur Alam is a member of its board of directors, it's one of the most prominent humanitarian institutions in the Muslim world. The IICO provides services to the needy in more than 136 countries today without discrimination on grounds of sex, color, religion, language, or race. It operates away from political disputes and partisan conflicts. IICO was established in 1980, aiming to fight the triple threat, poverty, ignorance, and disease. The idea earned the approval the approval of intellectuals, scientists, and philanthropists. My country, Kuwait, welcomed the project to be Kuwait-based, but rather with an international perspective. With nearly 160 founding members come from all over the world. The IICO board is chaired by His Highness the Emir's consultant and the UN Secretary General's special <coughs> envoy for Humanitarian Affairs, Dr. Abdullah al Ma'toub, who took office in 2010. Under his leadership, the organization appeared on international humanitarian landscape, landscapes, landscape through its solid relations with United Nations specialized humanitarian agencies. The Kuwaiti leadership's confidence grew in IICO's activities and it gave it the task of organizing international conferences for donors, which maybe you witnessed, you witnessed uh, the, the Iraqi one a few days ago, uh, to support the humanitarian situation in many countries, precisely Syria, East Sudan, and Iraq, which finished two, three days ago. Dear brothers and sisters, I would like to highlight the importance of our conference today, working on three of the great Islamic international values, equality, justice, and uh, fraternity is as great as these values are. These values summarize the essence of dignity of a human being. A status declared by Almighty Allah, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ Moreover, these values are the core of political and social stability. They are the weight balance that Almighty Allah has placed on earth as described by an ulama. On the other hand, despite the critical importance of such values, little light has been shed on them in such matter as this conference. 
through this place gathering, IBS has proven once again its pioneering and has displayed the wisdom of its members. May Allah be pleased with Hadrat Ali bin Abi Talib, who said, Allah's creation, Allah's creations are either your brothers in Islam or your partners in humanity. This cause has echoed in the numerous messages of peace here in India delivered by leaders from different faiths. The heritage of these leaders has been left for you to build a one. I wish the conference all success and fruitful preparation. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.